In this lesson, I want to talk about views and subviews, uh, talk a little bit about layouts and, and uh, sort of the hierarchical nature of uh, views and windows uh, within Titanium. Uh, this is a picture that I showed earlier um, that uh, conceptually shows uh, how different uh, windows and views are composed. So I have a window here, and this isn't uh, meant to imply uh, this is how it would appear on my screen, uh, but rather uh, it should imply the fact that windows and views are containers that uh, can have um, things contained within them. So, uh, for instance, I have a window here uh, as a large container, and then within that I have a number of views, and those views can also contain things. Um, for some of you that perhaps are a little more uh, textually uh, uh, oriented. Uh, the window structure within Titanium uh, essentially looks like this, where you have a window and under, underneath that there are sub-windows or sub-views, and under those views you can also have other views. Um, so if I were to textually represent what I've drawn over here, I've got views 0, 1, 2 and 3, and then uh, view 1 contains a view, and view 2 contains a view. So uh, I want to show this programmatically and how this appears uh, within Titanium and how that uh, ends up working out as far as the programming is concerned. Uh, so we're going to start off by uh, drawing some views um, or uh, showing some views within our um, uh, within our interface. I'm going to use tie shadow to do that uh, and I'm going to use the view um, construct. It actually turns out that the view is the superclass for a number of different uh, widgets uh, that are found uh, within uh, Titanium. Um, most things are uh, inherit from the view. So for instance if I go to a picker uh, column, you'll see here that that's a subclass of uh, view. Same thing with, uh, let's, let's take scroll view. That is also a subclass of view. Okay, so uh, let's, uh, let's go to um, the tie shadow. Here is uh, my window with a white background. Um, I'm going to add to it uh, just a basic view. I'm going to call this view zero. create view and um, so that we can see um, uh, where the view is actually uh, contained within the, uh, the interface I'm going to give this thing a background color of uh, let's make it red red and um, and then let's make the width of this, uh, about 80% of the width of the container uh, window. And then I'm going to add view zero to this, uh, to this window. So click on, um, click on send code. And so you see here that I've got a view contained within the larger window that is 80% width of the larger one. Actually, let's do one more thing. Let's set the uh, let's set the height to about uh, forty percent, forty percent percent of the main window, and so we see here that uh, we have a window that's eighty percent in width, forty percent in height. I'm going to change one more thing with the window. I'm going to use a a vertical layout. And what this will end up doing then is uh, changing the way that it appears on the screen. Uh, I'm going to add to the create view top, and I'm going to set uh, this view about 10 pixels from the top of the screen uh, so that it moves up to the top. Okay, so this is uh, um, this represents my window. This represents a view contained within that window. Uh, I've done this hierarchically, so I've got my window and it. Uh, has contained within it a view. Let's create another view and put it inside uh, the window again. So I'm going to copy and paste it. I'm going to call this view 1. And um, 
instead of having this, um, actually, I, what I want to do is I want to put this view uh, within the um, uh, within this other view. So I'm going to let me number this view double zero, and I'm going to add view double zero um, to that first view. So view zero dot add view double zero. Uh, let's set the layout for this view to also be uh, vertical. Actually, let's make it horizontal. <clears throat> Wrong one. And uh, let's make sure that the uh, view gets placed um, 10 pixels from the left of the uh, the edge of the parent view. Okay, so, oh, and then uh, I need a different color. Let's use white so that we can, actually, let's use blue, so that we can see it inside the, uh, the container view. All right, so there it is. Um, and, oh, one more. Let's set the width to 40. So we have uh, a view contained within a window with a view contained within that. Um, so again, uh, these uh, uh, these different uh, um, views are uh, can be composed hierarchically, and the idea here is that uh, you want to be able to manage uh, each of these different views, um, have them contained within as contained as modules, and then use the entire module as as a whole, uh, with uh, everything sort of being managed uh, within the view. So. One of the things that would be interesting here is, uh, let's say that I move the, uh, uh, this, uh, this main view, instead of having it be uh, 10 pixels from the top, I have it be 50 pixels from the top. Now, since I have um, this sub view contained within it, um, the whole piece will move. So let's do that. So you see that uh, this uh, this view here is can, is uh, managed as a whole, um, and so I can start to do different things like manage the group um, instead of managing the uh, uh, each of the individual pieces. So I can move this down so the top is you know fifty percent instead of uh, uh, up higher in the screen, and everything ends up being um, uh, uh, managed as a whole. So anyway, so that's uh, that's one of the things that uh, is available within Titanium, this ab ability to manage um, each of these different views. Uh, we've seen here uh, some different ideas, uh, at least on, on how views are composed hierarchically.